Okay, the problems number says you're supposed to find the current anode using mesh analysis. Okay, before you start to analyze the circuit using mesh analysis or any other method of analysis, you must look at the circuit, either it is time domain or frequency domain circuit. So how to recognize either this circuit is time or frequency domain circuit? If you see here, the unit of capacitor and inductor are farad and Henry respectively. Also, for this value given the ST and IST is in sinusoid. So it means that this circuit is in time domain. So before we start to analyze the circuit using mesh analysis, first we must transform this time domain circuit to frequency domain circuit so that these units are in ohms. So for this video, I will focus on how to transform time domain circuit to frequency domain circuit or also we call it as phasor domain circuit. Next video, I will focus on mesh analysis. The first thing to do is look at the given value of these sources. This is sine and this is cos. So you must standardize the form into one form only. For analysis, we use cos. So now how to convert from sine to cos? You just need to remember this as this. Positive cos is here and positive sine is here. So it means that for negative cos is here, negative sine is here. And one more thing you must remember is if follow clockwise is positive. Since the value of VST is in sine form, so first we must convert this to cos. The difference between cos and sine is 90 degree. If you see here, if you want to convert from sine to cos, it is anti-clockwise. So means that it is negative 90 degree. So here is minus 90 degree. So means that VST now equals to 10 cos 2t minus 45 degree. Okay, for IST, you don't need to change anything because it's already in cos and it is positive cos. So now, let's convert to frequency domain or phasor domain. For VST, when we convert to frequency domain, it becomes Vs equals to 10 angle 45 degree and for is will be close to 5 angle 0 and now how to convert this capacitor and inductor to frequency domain okay for capacitor we must use the formula of 1 over j omega c while for inductor is j omega l you know from sources the omega is 2 radian per second. Here after we insert the value of omega and c, we should get c equals to minus j 0.2 ohms and the inductor's value is j 10 ohms. Okay, for the last one, we draw the circuit from time domain to frequency domain values. Okay, that's all how to transform from time domain to frequency domain circuit. For solving I0T using mesh analysis method, please check out next video.